Hey guys, how's it going? So this is a uh, actually a one bar free for all. Um, got I think an Australian or two in there as well. But uh, yeah, basically it's a one bar free for all. I had some people asking me sort of you know to upload some videos of uh, free for all instead of just team deathmatch. So uh, I've gone ahead and done that. Um, I also had people asking me to <laughs> they wanted to see how I go on a, on a one bar match. Um, so I thought, well, I may as well just do both at the same time. I actually end up playing a few free-for-alls and I've recorded those as well. You'll see those in my video section. Um, but yeah, look, I mean, a lot of people ask me also, like, what setup I use, uh, mainly. Now, I mean, it's no secret that, you know, I always used FMGs and stuff, FMG9 and Kimbo's. Um, but I mean, there's a good reason for that. Like, I live in Perth and... Basically, we have like a really bad connection to pretty much all matches, even Australian matches. I mean, I'm, I'm not really bad. I guess I guess they're not that bad, um, but they're worse than what you guys will get over East for sure. Uh, just watch some of my videos, and you know you'll see like dying behind the wall, getting shot behind the wall, um, just ridiculous stuff. And not, and not only that, but I mean, like I don't know why, but this the Wii version of the game anyway. Um, it seems like half the bullets you shoot don't land. Like, you'll see a guy running past and you, you'll lay like, you know, 12 bullets into him. And, uh, and only three will register, you know? And I mean, I don't know if that's because of the, it's just because of the Wii version. I don't know if it's because we're in Perth or what. But basically the FMG9s are what I like to call anti-lag guns. They, they, they help mitigate that problem um, the most out of all guns. And I think it's because they shoot so many bullets in such a short time that even if, you know, half of them aren't registering, the other half that are registering kill the enemy really, really quick. And that's what you want. Um, so a lot of people will say, you know, oh, yeah, you're, you're an FMG9 noob, but they don't know the full story. You know, basically we've got the worst, well, the worst connection you can have amongst Australians anyway. And, uh, and, and even Americans. I mean, you guys, when you play against uh, the Americans, a lot of the time I see in videos and stuff, for example, with, with Darky HD, who lives over in over in the East, and he'll have a two bar two bar connection with Americans. I've never had, basically ever, a constant two bar connection. It will flicker every now and then, um, but that's you know I don't know why that happens, but generally it is a one bar connection, uh, more more than than it is a two bar. Like I said, when it is a two bar, it's just a flicker uh, for like a second, and then it goes back down to one bar again. So, you know, we got the worst connection you can have, even amongst Australians as well as amongst Americans. And I've done everything I can to try and fix that. I mean, like, I've gone out and bought the best Asus router uh, that you can buy at the moment, in Australia anyway. Uh, they, they came out with a new one just recently in America. But just until recently, I had the best, best Asus router, which was the RT-N56U. Um, I've got cable internet, you know, all, all the rest of it. I've done everything I can. I've got ports open and you name it. Um, if you guys don't know much about internet, that won't mean anything to you. But basically, I've gone to great lengths to try and make sure that I can have the absolute best connection possible. And I have to, because if I don't, I don't have a chance, you know. Like, how many times in, in Team Deathmatch have I gone around a corner, seen an enemy? He doesn't know I'm there. I'm shooting at him. He doesn't die. And then he turns around and kills me in one hit. It happens all the time, right? So yeah, look, I mean, my setup usually is uh, FMG9 Akimbo, um, and primary will always be either uh, MP7 silenced with rapid fire um, for stages where I want to run around and, and go crazy, um, or it'll be the MSR silenced or up until with with ACOG, so two attachments silenced ACOG. Um, Oh, that's really annoying how I die there. I was literally one kill off Moab. If you go back in the video and have a look, I actually do check down that corridor. Um, and then I run back and then come back again. And when I checked down the corridor, there was no one there. And then literally that guy just appeared out of nowhere and killed me with uh, with his sniper. One kill before Moab. Anyway, so yeah, look, if I mean, usually it would be MSR, Silence with ACOG. Um... But because of the recent patch where Silencer now actually makes a difference, I uh, don't use Silencer. I usually just go without the Silencer and ACOG only. Um, 
And look, don't say, you know, don't, don't go ahead and, and say, you know, oh, wow, you use the ACOG, you know, you get the, the sniper glue or the sniper suction, whatever you want to call it. Um, because, you know, if you're using the Wiimote, you basically have to use the ACOG. You can't go ahead and use the, the variable zoom. Have you ever actually tried it? Those of you who say that it's, you know, a newbie, you just can't. You can't use variable zoom or no scope um, or the, the, sorry, the standard scope because it's just impossible. You, you pretty much, you're better off not using the sniper at all. So, yeah. Um, and that's basically my classes. I mean, if uh, if people will say, oh, look, you know, don't use Akimbo FMG9s, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm not going to use them. You know, then, then I'm up for that. I'm up for the challenge of, of playing without FMG9s. If, if no one's using FMG9s, then I'm happy to not use FMG9s. But more often than not, someone is using them. And it's only fair that I use them as well. I mean, you know, why should... Why should they use them and not me? Um, so yeah. Um, what was I going to say? I can't remember. Um, classes. Classes. Yeah, look, I mean, I, I usually go with the Claymore. Um, Claymore and the Motion Sensor. Uh, because they're the best. I know some people that use C4, but the random C4 exploding glitch is not particularly fun when you're one kill from Moab. So, um, yeah, I prefer to use Claymore. I mean, Claymore is sort of more tactical and stuff as well. Like, if you're, you know, if you're, you can, like, block an exit, and then, um, you know, when somebody runs past it, they'll either die or, or they'll set it off with the stalker. And, yeah, look, that video ended way too short. I'll, I guess I'll continue this in the next video.